welcome to my room slash studio tour. If you're new here and you never watched one of my videos, or if you don't know me from Instagram, my name is Arki and I'm a freelance illustrator based in Naples, Italy. I really wanted to make this video because I recently showed you uh, my workspace in a reel on Instagram and many of you seem to like it. I really enjoy watching this kind of videos, so I really hope that you like watching mine too. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first thing that you see entering my room is my dog trying to understand what I'm doing. <laughs> His name is Theo and he's a really cute doggo. Okay, so right behind my door um, I keep this uh, very thick paper that I use to protect, protect the prints that I sell in my Etsy shop when I ship them. And this paper is a uh, paper that I use to take uh, product pictures. Here I have two of my guitars, I say two because I have many other guitars, because I played the guitar for 10 years actually, but then I stopped because it wasn't something that I really enjoyed doing. I also don't really have much time to do it now, so yes, but I still kept the guitars because they're really beautiful. <laughs> and here you can see my um, wardrobe. I have this open wardrobe because I think it's really really pretty. And everything you see in my room is basically from Ikea. And when it's not from Ikea, I will tell you what it, where it's from. And on top of the wardrobe, I keep this really cute plant. So yeah, here I keep my um, plushies too. This one is my favorite plushie ever. I have no idea why. <laughs> and that very Christmassy looking bag is a gift, a Christmas gift for a friend of mine but I couldn't give it to her because we're constantly in red zone. That's how they call lockdown here. So I cannot meet her and I didn't want to risk shipping to her because I've already shipped something to her and it arrived like months later. So I just prefer giving it to her when I see her next time. And this one, this super pink looking bag is my favorite bag ever, but I really don't know how to style it because I mean, you understand why I don't know how to style it. But I still really like it. I don't remember where I got it from. I'll write it into the description. Here I keep more bags. It, it's kind of messy, but I wouldn't know where to keep my bags otherwise. So yeah, here are some of my dresses and here are some of my cardigans and jackets and all of that. Here I keep more clothes. So yeah. Theo is always sitting in this armchair, so it's basically ease. I never sit here, because <laughs> he always takes this spot. And on top of it, I have some paintings and some prints and a postcard. It's still kind of empty, because I want to buy uh, more uh, either paintings or prints. So yeah. And there is another guitar. This one is my favorite, probably. Here I keep all of my jewelry inside this box. I have a lot of jewelry. <laughs> and I keep some books that I read when I was uh, a kid, basically. And my sunglasses. On top of it, I have a lot of illustrated books, which I'm going to also show you at the end of this video. I recently uh, got this one from Laura. If you don't know her, um, I'll put the link in the description. Please check her out. And yeah, I don't want to spoil it too much because I'm going to talk about illustrated books at the end of this video. And here you have a book that I'm currently reading. Another little plant. Inside this uh, bottle, which was actually um, a water bottle. And isn't it so pretty? It looks so good like this, I think. And I have one of my crystals. And then this is my bed. I really like this bed and I got it from Ikea too because when I put the pillows on it like this, it kind of looks like a sofa. So I really like it. And moving on, on this wall, I have this wallpaper 
This is probably my favorite part of my room. And I've had it for a long time, since I was a kid, basically. Because I've always lived in this house and this has always been my room. And on top of the bed, I have this place where I keep many postcards, business cards, and stuff that I collected during my trips. Like I have that postcard that's from uh, Lisbon. I have that one that's from Portugal too. And this one I got in from a beautiful bookstore uh, that only sells illustrated books here in um, Naples. And I also keep these business cards of people where I order it from. This one too is from Ilaria Pops. And yeah, some stuff that I got at the Bologna Children's Books Fair. I really like it. I think it adds a little bit of color to this wall that it would have been otherwise really plain. Moving on, I have this bookshelf. This one is not from Ikea. My dad made it. And I'm going to show you how it looks. It's only one piece so on the bookshelf here I keep my paper that I use for um, to pack out orders and I put some more uh, stuff that I need uh, for order packing I have my Totoro wallet um, in which I put stickers <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was really cute here I have another plushie and some books uh, from when I was in high school same thing here here I keep some um, pins this one is from my friend Elisa and it's really pretty this one too and these are just pins that I collected here and there on top of it I have again stuff that I use for packaging and uh, some more books that I read uh, when I was really into fantasy books, so that was probably in middle school. Yes, probably was. And inside this box, I keep um, my paint. So I have gouaches in here. And here are some of my old sketchbooks. On top of it, there are paintings that I made when I was a really, really young kid. My mom decided that they had to be there. I cannot move them, otherwise she'll be mad. And I also have these masks that I made when I was little too. So this is the space that I already showed you in one of my studio vlogs, so I won't go into much detail. But yes, here are some of my prints. Here too, stuff that I use for packaging some of my washi tapes, bookmarks and notepads, and some of my sticker sheets and uh, more washi tapes. Here I have my printer, which is an Epson ET2751, you can see here. It's an eco tank, so it's supposed to be an ecologic um, printer. I don't use it to make my prints because the quality is not the best. Moving on to the other bookshelf, um, I have books that I read when I was little and I have illustrated books, my own book that recently got published and more illustration books that I really love. Here in this cute wooden tray I keep my stickers some washi tapes that I use for packaging, my business cards, another illustrated book, sketchbooks that I'm still using, um, some pens, and here I have this balcony. I put flowers outside the balcony because I think it's really pretty to see them as soon as I wake up from my bed. So this is my view. And here I have my desk. This is a chair that is not really comfortable. I got it from Ikea. 
And this is my desk with all the prints that I recently got from artists that I love. I think I'll put all of these um, artists in the description box. That one is from my friend Karina. She's called uh, like this on Instagram. You should totally check her out and follow her. These prints are from my friend Elisa. This is a print that I made. Same thing for this one. These are from Lana J. This one I don't remember. <laughs> this is my Totoro poster that is always covered because I put flowers on my desk. But yeah, I got it from Amazon. This is a really, really pretty calendar that I got from Ilaria Pops. It really puts me in a good mood. I have this print that is from Peony Illustrations. And this is where I keep on my desk my salt lamp, which I love. It looks like this when it's on. I keep these cute little mugs and this thing that used to contain tomatoes <laughs> to store my um, brushes and some of my pens. This one I got it in Andalusia. It was, um, I think it Sevi in Sevilla. I don't know how you say Sevilla in English, so I'll just write it somewhere. And this is a mug that I got in uh, Praga. Again, I don't know how to say Praga <laughs> in English, so I'll write it somewhere. And this is uh, the twine that I use to package orders. Some a tape, some glue. And these really, really pretty flowers. I love keeping flowers on my desk. It's something that, again, puts me in a really good mood. Oh, and I also have this Woodwick candle. It sounds like a wood uh, burning. And the smell is great. You can get it on Amazon too, I guess. But I got it in a shop here in Naples. And this is my uh, planner. So many people ask me about this planner. I got it on Amazon and I recently tried to look for it because someone had asked me to send them the link, but it's not available anymore, sadly. It has these quotes for every month. And here is my trusty iPad. I only do digital art, basically. And this is my Apple Pencil with this pretty pink um, thing that protects it and also protects my fingers. And I have my Mac, that's me, <laughs> where I put one of my stickers. It's basically the mascot of my Etsy shop. So this is where I work all the time. And here we have this super pretty shelf that uh, many people asked about and it's from Ikea too where I keep some plants again another illustrator book this really really pretty plant inside a mug these this is a real pumpkin I bought it in uh, October and it's still looking pretty good I mean not as good as when I bought it but it's cute and this is a pumpkin candle, but I will never light it. And here are some of my crystals. This one was a gift from my dad. This one too, and it's not a crystal. I don't remember what it is, but, but this thing that looks like a flower is natural and it's really amazing. So here I have more scented candles and I have this tag with my name that my friend uh, Karina uh, made for me when I ordered that print from her. And here I have Palo Santo. Do you call it Palo Santo in English too? I don't know. And another illustrated book and some of my amethysts. So this is uh, another candle here i keep these super cute ghosts that i bought um, at tiger another scented candle 
a postcard and uh, some more crystals inside this really cute um, marble box that I got in Ischia in my favorite bookstore that it's owned by a family friend please if you go to Ischia check it out it's really really beautiful and they have this cat that is always around and she always sits on books and <laughs> naps on books so it's a really aesthetically pleasing bookstore and some other crystals again <laughs> my favorite I don't know why but I really love it these are rose quartz and I have this origami that I don't know where I got but it's really cute and here I have more illustrated books one of my sketchbooks here oh my god I love this one so much we'll talk about it later again and this one is actually a book from my friend her dad surprised her and uh, made a book with the things that she writes um, if you're Italian, check her out. Her name is Laraldo, and I also illustrated the um, the cover. And here I have more crystals. This one is so pretty, but I really don't know which crystal it is. If you know, tell me, because I really cannot find it. Look at this. More crystals again. And here I have some books that I've read recently. This one is a book is a book about crystals. And this one is a book illustrated by my friend, not the cover though. She only illustrated the illustrated the inside. She's amazing. Please follow her on Instagram. Look at this. I'm so happy that she got to publish this book because she's so talented. And here I have random stuff. Oh, I actually want to show you this. It basically plays the uh, soundtrack of Spirited Away, um, the Ghibli movie. It's always really, really lovely. And right beside this bookshelf, I have this full body mirror. Hi, this is me. Sorry about my bare feet, we don't use uh, shoes inside the house. And beside this one, I have uh, two more mirrors. This one, it's a vintage one, and it's great to take pictures. And I have this cute, extremely small mirror like right beside the other one. And right here i have another guitar and on top of them i have another plant with more books and also this is my roof and i really love this uh color something that i really wanted to talk about is my illustrated books um collection and i put them all on the floor uh and i've just realized that i have a lot of books <laughs> I only talk about my favorite ones though otherwise this video is going to be too long one of my favorite illustrated books is this one heat by Jen Wei if that's how you pronounce it I'm sorry if I got it wrong and um, it's an amazing book that it's basically about uh, overcoming fears that's what I think the illustrations in it are really really beautiful they somehow remind me of uh, Studio Maggie's illustration. Another book that I love is by uh, Emily Fleche. I really don't know how to pronounce it again, I'm really sorry. Uh, she is one of my favorite illustrators ever. And this is a very, very beautiful book. All these watercolor textures are amazing. I also love this by these illustrator I won't even try to pronounce it this time the story and all of these beautiful characters are really amazing look at this it's so beautiful it's it's amazing you'll fall in love with the illustrations inside the book another one of my favorites 
This is by Dee's Illustrator. I think she's Italian, but I'm not sure. And uh, I'm sure every one of you will love it because these type of things are really trendy at the moment. Stuff like mushrooms or uh, cottage core um, fairies. Look at this. This is another book that I love by Zhao Dao. Uh, I think she's a Chinese illustrator, but I'm not sure. And uh, I actually got this one a long time ago. Look at this. I cannot talk about all of them, otherwise it'll take too long. Here are some honorable mentions. I also love these two books. This one is another book from Fly Night Books. It's probably my favorite publisher. And this one is by Maria Chiara Di Giorgio, who is an illustrator that I really admire. Then there is this one by Giulia Serda. Amazing. And here is a look at all of my illustrator books. And Teo sleeping in the sun, because my dog really loves the sun for some reason. <laughs> so yes, this concludes this video. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, studio room tour and I'll see you next time, I guess. Bye!